Hi, Theater Mania. I'm Sutton Foster, and we're talking about Sweet Charity at The New Group. Sweet Charity is, it's the story of this woman who's this kind of eternal optimist, and she's sort of, it's, it's the 60s, it's New York City, she's sort of trying to find her way, and she kind of, throughout the course of the story, she kind of meets all these different guys, and she kind of realizes she sort of keeps making the same mistake over and over again, which is very relatable, I feel like, to every woman in the city. And um, she kind of, in the end, sort of has to look at herself and be like, why do I keep doing this? You know, she sort of creates this incredible fantasy, fantasy world around her of, of hope and dreams and <laughs> rainbows and puppy dogs and in and a, and a world that's uh, not so shiny. I feel like we're trying to hold on to all the things that we know and love about Sweet Charity. The heart, the comedy, the amazing music, Cy Coleman, Dorothy Fields, like what they did, so incredible. And we're really just trying to find um, a way to tell this story in a stripped down. We have a smaller cast, we have 12 people instead of the usual 28 or more. So what other productions have had in kind of spectacle and humans and giant Broadway stage, we, I feel like our, our power is in the virtue of our storytelling. And so that's really what we're after. It's no longer a revival, it's a reimagining, which is great because you don't have the pressure of, of filling a big huge house, but you have audience on three sides. It's sort of like they're in the room with you. And so you can you can discover stuff that you wouldn't be able to do in a full scale big house production. You know, we're we're doing it in two hundred seat theater. It's incredibly intimate. Probably be the most you know vulnerable and exposed I've ever been on a stage because I'll literally be in people's laps. So there's nowhere to hide. I'll, my sweat will be like you know flopping in your face. I think it's relevant for today. You know, it's something that happened in this the story is set in the 60s. But I think that what Lee and Josh and Mary Mitchell want to do is is kind of update it and tell the stories and, and you know share these ideas and explore these ideas that are important now, women's rights and, and women's independence, and kind of explore that on top of the fact that you just have a ton of people who are really good at singing and dancing and acting. <laughs>